Hello everyone, Dr. J here and welcome to my channel. Tonight we've got the grill hot and I'm feeling like some steak and potatoes. I've got some nice prime filet mignon, some sliced potatoes ready to fry up, and we're getting ready to make a delicious dinner. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys on in and we'll get started right away. So our griddle top is running right around 500 degrees. And 521 right there about 495 480 on this far side over here i'm also about 480 475 480 i'm going to start my potatoes here on the left i've got some russet potatoes that i've washed peeled so sliced and soaked and then coated in avocado oil salt pepper onion powder garlic powder a little bit of seasoning to get that some good flavor. We got a little more avocado oil here. I'm gonna put down. Get some good lubrication. Grill's nice and hot. It's gonna move around well. water that's naturally in those potatoes at the beginning to start steaming underneath one of these black stone dome lids and then get them cooking through start getting some color on the bottom. Let those go just a couple of minutes and then we'll go ahead and get our steaks going that way we have time to cook our steaks to the temperature we want get them off and let them rest so that when the potatoes come off those are ready to eat. Those have been going for probably about four and a half, five minutes. I flipped them a couple times just to make sure nothing was getting too crusty on the bottom or looking good. Starting to run out of natural moisture. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Go ahead and put the lid back on so these continue to steam through. And then towards the end, we'll work more on getting the, the good color on everything after our steaks finish. Put a little more water on there. Close our, put the lid back on it. Let those just continue to steam and cook. For the steaks tonight, I have a couple of filet mignon. These were brought at Sam's. These are prime beef. I went ahead and seasoned these, trimmed them up a little bit. There's a little bit of silver skin on them. Trimmed them up and put some salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little cayenne pepper for a little kick. I like a little bit of kick on my beef. And uh, these are nice. They're probably about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick. I'd say they're in between six and eight ounces, somewhere around in there. They look fantastic. They've got good marbling in them. I think these are going to cook up wonderfully. Just a little more avocado oil. I really want to try to get a good sear on each side. And then we'll probably switch that dome lid from the potatoes to the steaks. Normally when I do filet mignon, in the house because I didn't have a black stone. I haven't done filet mignon since I got a black stone. But I'll hard sear each side, put them in a 450 degree oven for about eight minutes, depending on how thick they are, and then let them rest another 10 minutes after that. Make some loose, loose aluminum foil. Uh, we're going to let these go, get a good hard sear on each side, check our internal temp, and then swap that dome lid over if we need to to finish them off. I've also got some garlic butter that we'll put on there as well to top it off. Finish it up. Turn these over, see what you look like. Get a nice sear on there. See that color on that beef. Very nice. Hold them down here where it's a little warmer. Let's go on that side another minute or two. We'll hit the edges as well. And then we'll check our internal.
700 degrees. So we got a little ways to go. I'm 90 on that one. We got a little ways to go. We got some nice meat juices there we're going to use for our potatoes. We'll move these right here. Get some Kerrygold butter that I just took and, and uh, squeezed in some garlic out of my garlic press. Made some garlic butter. Put a little dab on each one of these. Let that start sauteing around. Put that lid on it. Now let's try and get a cotton bill on our potatoes. They're looking good. We can spread out a little bit. Just squeeze the water in there as well. Since we got a little extra, it wouldn't probably hurt these potatoes a bit to have a little garlic butter on them. Alright, I'm going to put these over. Oh, look at the sear on there now. That's looking good. Check those internal tendons. Make sure where we are. Getting close. We're up 118 now. Side. Let's go to water. Let's put that lid back on. Let that go. Just one more check. Probably gonna have to pull that small one off first. This is a little thinner. Man, look at the crust on that guy. So it's looking good. I think I, think I will. Go ahead and pull this thinner guy off. And let it start resting. carry up to where we want it. We'll go ahead and get it off. And the rest of these I'm just taking aluminum foil and I'm going to wrap that loosely around it. Let this juice is reabsorbed. You can see the sizzle on those potatoes. They just look fantastic. Really turning out just perfect. For me, it is really hard to beat a good fried potato. All right, guys, we've got a nice, juicy steak. Tastes fantastic. Super tender being filet mignon, just melts. Those nice potatoes, crispy on the outside. Nice and creamy in the middle. Perfect accompaniment for me anyways. Thank you guys for joining me. If you like this, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I'll be putting more videos out soon. Again, I'm Dr. J and I thank you for joining me for this steak and potatoes cook. Have a great day.